He has a no IP DIN DNS setup, www.no-ip.com. It's a free DIN DNS server, and you can get quite a few free ones. Uh, DVRDYDNS.com is also free. Here we click on no IP free. You need an e email address for this one. It will send a confirmation. In this case I use Johnny Bravo 570 at rocketmail.com. You can use any email address, any a real existing email address. Click on the sign up. There you go to no IP website. You, you've got to fill in some details first. Uh, your account information as you can see I filled it in over here agree accept great account it's going to send a email to the email address that you have supplied once that's done go to your email account yeah, I have a Yahoo email inbox there's my registration already here and click on activate your account now that it's confirmed you may log in to the node IP website with the username and password that you created username Johnny Bravo 570 at rocketmail.com is my user at this stage There I enter my email address again. Rocketmail.com. And my password. All right, so now that I've logged in. A uh, lot of lot of information on the site. Best is just to go to the top left. You see hosts redirects. You click on a host. On the hosts, you'll see there's nothing added. I want to add a host. Click on the green add a host button. Create a host name. This will be the same as a website name. So maybe the company name, company name, or any other name that you desire. I'll just give an example here, the company name 12345, I think it may, you can do, choose different uh, domains, free ones of course, you can buy it, and I think this might be a bit long this name, but let's go ahead and try anyway, click on create, create host, and yes, it's a little bit too long, so don't, don't make it too long. Yes, yeah, so let's create my company five four three and let's try again. Okay, there you can see I've added it and I have a host which I can use for my port forwarding and uh, uh, this information will be put on my DVR. So let's open my Go to my DVR. In this case, my DVR is 192.168.2.204. Local address, local on the LAN, and put my details in. And go to the configuration, and there I've put my details in. All my details that's from the no IP website is the same details I enter in my DDNS. And there we have it.